Okay, hi everybody. I'm uh, uh, all set to make the rasam that I spoke about earlier. The rasam that I'm going to make today is called the lemon rasam. Uh, it is basically a very simple recipe with very simple ingredients. Uh, the, the idea is to create something which, with, the, with, with all the ingredients that are used for boosting immunity, human immunity. Uh, the ingredients that I'm going to use are yellow lentils, I have uh, tomatoes, uh, I have lemon of course, uh, black pepper, turmeric powder, a little bit of jaggery, uh, cilantro and uh, green chili and that's about it. Uh, very simple, obviously salt a little bit, very simple, very easy to make. I'm going to get right into it. So I've taken two tomatoes here, this is what I will start with. I have some lentils. Uh, uh, with a little bit of turmeric so I'm gonna just cut up roughly the tomatoes and I'm just gonna boil it along with my lentils I'm gonna put everything in a small vessel I'm gonna empty my lentils into this these are just lentils that I've soaked in water and I've kept it ready um, again uh, we Indians, we use a lot of our hand in our cooking. Uh, I've really cleaned my hands and washed my hands. But if you are not comfortable with that, feel free to use, uh, you know, a spoon or whatever you want to use. Uh, I'll take some water and be back in a minute. So as you can see, very simple, very easy. Tomatoes, lentils, water, a little bit of turmeric. And it just goes inside the pressure cooker or cooking the lentils almost to a mashed up state okay all right so i switch on the heat i bring it up to the maximum i i close the pressure pan i put the whistle and I'm going to wait for this to at least uh, give me three to four different whistles uh, and then we are all so I have a I have the pan ready I have the lentils inside this I've put the weight on this and I'm going to wait for three whistles coming out of it and uh, I expect the lentils to be properly mashed up I don't really want them to be half cooked but really mashed up really cooked well uh, so I will get back to you as soon as this is cooked. See you in a bit. So as you can see the whistles are all blowing away and this is a very good sound. I've taken some water full of, uh, in, in a pot. Uh, this water is going to reduce a little bit so I've taken a little bit more and I intend to make a little bit more of rasam so that I can have it you know even, even the next day. I, as you can see I have taken turmeric powder and salt. I have some black pepper powder, I have fresh cilantro uh, and this is the main ingredients. I have lemon, tomato, green chilies, ginger chopped up and jaggery. And there comes another one. I've just got to wait for another one more of it and then I'm done. So as you can see I have uh, kept the cooker away, I have switched off the heat. I'm waiting for this steam to settle down and then uh, I will start heating up this water and starting in, start to in, in, you know, add all the ingredients for the rasam and uh, while, while I wait for this to happen let me just quickly show you the view outside my house it's just beautiful I just love this view and I love the fact that it takes at least uh, till 8 o'clock for it to become dark this is something totally new to me there is a nice a tennis court in front of my balcony so I have a nice view and good entertainment all right my lentils are done and I'm just gonna remove the lid in a moment uh, and I have put this water on for boiling uh, it's all very simple from here on forward I remove this I see if they are really cooked they think should they should be let me just, yeah, perfect. It's all totally mashed up. I'll just keep it here for a minute. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it in this. I'll just get on to this particular 
water that is going to boil I have I'm going to bring it up to a boil and then I'm going to add the ingredients uh, it's it's already heated up so the first ingredient that I'm going to add up is the tomatoes pretty simple just chop them up roughly and add them okay add a green chili that's it you remember the um, turmeric powder and the salt just drop it in as simple as that okay uh, some chopped up ginger and jaggery don't put a lot of jaggery uh, just a little bit of it just put it in and that's about it all you need to do is now boil this for over five minutes uh, you can just give it a slight stir the important thing is this has to now really boil and once this is boiled what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this into this and boil it and then there's one more step which I will tell you as soon as you reach there and voila you have your rasam ready but let me do that step by step so let's wait for this to boil okay the rasam is just boiling away now as you can see I'm just going to let it boil for uh, four to five minutes not more uh, I have my lentils ready ready to be put in uh, inside along with the along with the rasam once this is fully boiled and once this is done then I'm going to add in the black pepper the coriander and the and the lemon there is a last step to it which I will show you uh, uh, but let uh, I'll just be back with you once this boils for at least four to five minutes so the the rasam is boiling away it's been four to five minutes since this is boiling all I need to do is now just wait for another maybe 30 seconds and then just empty this lentils with the water and the mashed tomato into this and uh, you're pretty much down to the last step after that so here it goes just give it a nice stir uh, this is got to boil and reduce a little bit uh, maybe this has to become three-fourths of what it is so guys this is now boiling for almost four to five minutes it has reduced a bit uh, not much but it has reduced a bit I'm just going to stir it a little bit but this is exactly it is almost like a clear soup with a little bit of lentils in it what I'm going to put in this is a little bit of the pepper powder and then I'm going to put in the coriander in fact I'll just put the coriander now uh, this is fresh coriander leaves uh, I just love the smell of coriander I love coriander in almost everything that I cook uh, there are some people who don't like the smell of this you can avoid this if you want to but uh, it is it has got ex it has got really good um, qualities medicinally and it is one of the herbs which really is important in the rasam uh, from the perspective of the taste and the aroma of it uh, so I'm just gonna let it boil a little bit more get in the essence of the coriander and uh, reduce a slightly a little bit more what I'm gonna do now is something called as the tarka I'm just gonna put in some uh, coconut oil um, and uh, uh, brown mustard and I'm just gonna make it splutter a little bit and then I will pour it into the rasam this is the final touch before we put in the black pepper and the lemon so let's start I'm gonna switch on the heat here just a little bit if it does come out I think it's basically solidified so no it's okay I'm just going to take a small spoon you don't need a lot of it maybe one small teaspoon and that's it okay so 
sorry for the mess guys I'm just trying to be as less messy as possible but doesn't seem to be the case so I'm just gonna let this heat up a little bit and then I'm gonna splatter up the brown mustard or the black mustard as you call it and then we are almost done I can already feel the smell of the rasam coming in. It's just boiling away. Let me just move the camera a bit to tell you how this is looking like right now. It's pretty good. Okay, I can start smelling the coconut oil now. Coconut oil um, heats up very quickly and uh, the tendency of it to get burnt is also very quick. So you have to be really out you, you really have to be there to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, take a little bit of mustard. I always like extra mustard. Uh, you know this brown mustard also has a lot of medicinal uh, qualities in it. It is especially very very good for your bones or bone health. And um, I read it somewhere that it is supposed to be really good. Uh, you know if. If you to, to make your bones strong basically all right so this is now heated up I'm gonna just put it in on the oil just to make sure that this oil is better in a moment Okay, I can start to hear the splutter. It's just cracking up. As soon as this is done, what I will do is I will switch off the heat on this mustard. I don't want it to burn. And I'm just going to pour it inside my rasam. Take everything and then it goes inside and it's just mix this up into everything you put in the black pepper very important ingredient and then give it a nice stir all right with that with the mustard and the coconut oil into the rasam this is almost done uh, what did I forget Oh yeah, this is supposed to be lemon rasam and we have not added lemon yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the heat a bit. I don't want it to be boiling so much. And I'm just going to squeeze in a ton of lemon if you want. And if you really like the taste of lemon peels, you can just put the lemon peel inside it as well. And it's just going to... Uh, take in the flavor of the lemon peel. Lemon peel is extremely healthy and it saves you uh, saves you a lot of, lot of infections and it's supposed to be also one of the building blocks of immunity in human body. So as you can see I can put in a lot of lemon. Uh, it really depends on how much of lemon you can take. I am a fan of lemon. I'm a fan of sour food. And this is perfectly okay for me to add a lot of lemon in it. And now just stir it and you have your lemon dressing ready. You can drink this whenever you want. Just heat it up. You have a little bit of lentils in it. You have a little bit of tomatoes in it. You can add it with rice and have it in a bowl. Uh, this is especially very good if you are you know, just starting to get some uh, signs of a, a cold or or you know a throat um, pain or something and this is just going to help you come out of it very quickly it will also soothe your uh, throat when you are when you are trying to uh, recover from that uh, i hope you enjoyed this recipe uh, I, I i got to tell you that you know i have to give a huge uh, appreciation to all the youtubers who make this video while making these videos as you can see I'm not very professional in it but uh, I have realized that it's not an easy job there's a lot of skills that needs to be learned in this uh, I'm just 
gonna continue doing it and uh, learn on the way uh, please forgive any bloopers that you see in between uh, but uh, I really really appreciate all the youtubers all the bloggers who make this it's not an easy feat so that's that's it from my side I'm gonna enjoy this rasam now and I'm gonna uh, move towards uh, strengthening my immunity even further and I hope you are all able to make this and uh, enjoy it as well uh, see you around in the next video meanwhile if you have any comments or any suggestions or any um, uh, any any uh, anything from your culture that that uh, is similar please share this here so that I can and we all can you know take the benefit of it and uh, we all be healthy safe uh, and happy so keep safe keep happy keep healthy thank you good night